It was back last October, I believe it was. We was going to hold a tent service all, off at this college town. And we got there about dinner time on Saturday. And uh, different ones of us thought that we ought to get us a mouthful to eat before that we set up the tent. And so we got off of the truck and followed this little bunch of people through this small little bitty patch of woods there. And we come up on a big sign. It says, get something to eat here. And uh, I went up and got me two hot dogs and a big orange drink. And before that I could take every mouthful of that food, this whole raft of people come up around me and got me to where I couldn't eat nothing, up like, and I dropped my big orange drink. I did. Well, friends, they come in to move, and they want so much that I could do but move with them. Well, we commenced to go through all kinds of doors and gates, and I don't know what all, and I looked up over one of them, and it says North Gate. And we kept on going through there, and pretty soon we come up on a young boy, and he says, ticket, please. And I says, friend, I don't have a ticket. I don't even know where it is that I'm going. <laughs> I did. Well, he says, come out as quick as you can. And I says, I'll do her. I'll turn right around the first chance I get. <laughs> well, we kept on a moving through there, and pretty soon everybody got where it was that they was a-going because they parted, and I could see pretty good. I, I, I could. And what I seen was this whole raft of people a-setting on these two banks and a-looking at one another across this pretty little green cow pasture. <laughs> Well, there was, and somebody had tuck and drove white lines all over it and drove posties in it, and I don't know what all, and I looked down there, and I seen five or six convicts a running up and down and a blowing whistles. There was, and then I looked down there, and I seen these pretty girls a wearing these little bitty short dresses and a dancing around, and so I sat down and thought I'd see what it was that was going to happen. I did. And about the time I got set down good, I looked down there and I seen 30 or 40 men come running out of one end of a great big outhouse down there. <laughs> they did. And everybody where I was a setting got up and hollered. And about that time, 30 or 40 come running out of the other end of that outhouse and the other bank full, they got up and hollered. And I asked this fellow that was besetting beside of me, I says, friend, what is it that they're hollering for? Well, he whopped me on the back and he says, buddy, have a drink. <laughs> well, I says, I believe I will have another big orange. <laughs> and I got it and sat back down. And when I got down there again, I seen that them men had got in two little bitty bunches down there. <laughs> they had rail close together. And they voted. <laughs> they did. They voted and elected one man apiece. And them two men come out in the middle of that cow pasture and shook hands like they hadn't seen one another in a long time. <laughs> and then a convict come over to where they was a standing, and he took out a quarter, and they come in to odd man right there. <laughs> they did. Well... After a while, I seen what it was that there's odd man in for. It was that both bunches full of them men wanted this funny-looking little pumpkin to play with. <laughs> they did, and I know, friends, that they couldn't eat it because they kicked it the whole evening and it never busted. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, what I was telling was that both bunches full wanted that thing. And one bunch got it, and it made the other bunch just as mad as they could be. And friends, I seen that evening the awfulest fight that I have ever seen in my life. I did. They would run at one another and kick one another and throw one another down and stomp on one another and grind their feet in one another and I don't know what all. And just as fast as one of them would get hurt, they'd tote him off and run another one. <laughs> Well, they'd done that as long as I sat there. But pretty soon, this boy that had said, ticket, please, he come up to me and he says, friends, you're going to have to leave 
because it is that you don't have a ticket. And I says, well, all right. And I got up and left. And I don't know, friends, to this day what it was that there's a doing down there, but I have studied about it. And I think that it's some kindly of a contest where they see which bunch full of them men can take that pumpkin and run from one end of that cow pasture to the other without either getting knocked down or stepping in something. <laughs>